I'm going to make a route um, using a method that you might use if you go into Germany and you don't know places. And that is to use the search the database facility. And th this will do for now. I've put in the word lag and it's given me some results. And if I hover over, or if I click on lag lodge, it tells me where lag lodge is. It says it's number two, but here it says it's number one. I don't know why that is. I want lag itself, which is in the town. And I've got these little icons. I can choose to create a waypoint. I can create a route from there. Or I can add the result to the current route. Well, I'm going to create a waypoint for this time. And it's called it lag. That is a waypoint. It's come from the database. I'm not going to try and find Ullapool. And it will go away and search. And there isn't one that is just Ullapool. So uh, I'm just going to go for the Ullapool Hotel. Um, click on that, it shows me where it is, and I'm going to create um, a waypoint at that point there as well. Now notice when I click on those, it puts the waypoints in there, it copies the waypoints to there, because these waypoints already exist in the database. Um, but now I want to go to Dines. Dennis Village Hall. Okay, we'll have that. Let's put it on the list and create a, result, uh, a route from the re selected results. Now I want to add it to the current route. Oh, I see. I don't have a route. Okay, so it'll just have to be a waypoint. And we'll also have Scoury. And we'll spell it properly. So I'm up in the top right hand corner. Scary. And. Okay. So let's put those in. That's really handy. So now what I'm going to do is highlight that little lot and right click. I don't know how you do this on the Apple. And create a route using the selected points. And there we are. We've got it. Stupid route, but we've got it. So now what I'm going to do is it's created a motorcycling route. Um, I'm going to make it say none. And I'm going to not use activity pro but faster time, avoid um, no, just on paved roads. You, using this you can see what happens. It recalculates it. There aren't many roads in Scotland to make many changes, so that's okay. I'm just going to accept that. Um, well, I want to start from leg, so I can highlight leg and move it up. If I just move this down off the screen a little bit, um, I can move that up. And I can move Durness Village Hall down. And you can see what happens to the route as you change things around a bit. Obviously, Ullapool wants to be last leg first, so Durness Village Hall is in the wrong place. Still wrong. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing there. So I've chosen something there, leg, moving it down. Well, I know I want leg at the top. I know I want Ullapool at the bottom. And notice as I click on these, point over there becomes highlighted. Let me just shift that out of the way. So Durness Village Hall is there. Scoury is there. Ullapool Hotel is there. And in fact that's it. It's gone from Leg to Durness to Scoury to Ullapool. And I can now tell it to recalculate What have I got wrong there? Right, nothing. Right, you can see what it's doing. 
for some reason it is taking me from Leg up to Durness, probably because that is the fastest route. So what I need to do now is to modify that route. I've got medium um, detail set up, that's not going to help much. So I just need to keep zooming in until I can see that road the one that goes there, that one. Right, so I'm going to have another waypoint. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to Altnahara. Okay, so then we go back to the route and add a waypoint which is Altnahara. It puts it in the wrong place more than likely. Let me put that over there. Altnahara is after leg, so I click on Altnahara and move it up and it's going from Leg to Altnahara to Dennis. Goodness, it always seems to want to go back to the beginning. I don't know why that is. It's stupid. Recalculate and there we are. We've got the route that I want. Now, all of those were put in as waypoints and waypoints by default will alert on arrival. When you transfer them to the Zumo, they will also nag, and they will nag and nag and nag until you actually go back and visit that point. That is completely different from the 660. If you had a waypoint at Alt-Nahara, and the waypoint at Alt-Nahara was slightly off the route, say down here, then the route would go, follow the cursor, turn right, go down there and then back out again. Riding the motorbike you would realise that it had done this and you would see the purple route going on ahead and you would just carry on. And the Zumo 660 would allow you to pick up the route even though there was a waypoint over there that you just missed. The 590 and the 390 won't. They will nag you. Unless you change those points to non-alerting. And you can do that by highlighting, I'm, I'm holding the shift key down and I've highlighted those three and I'm now right clicking it and choosing don't alert on arrival. They become shaping points. Now those points, they are there, they will get transmitted to the Zumo. The Zumo may calculate its own route, it shouldn't do, but they may calculate their own route, but there is no way that those points will keep nagging at you. They'll talk. excuse me, they will tell you to go there and they will nag you until you do go there but as soon as you pick up a route uh, the other side of that point they will stop nagging and let you continue. I've just put a point in there that I didn't mean to so I'm just going to click on the undo button which is that one there. So we've got all of these points, there were waypoints, some of them are now shaping points and what I'll do is to demonstrate what that looks like when it gets transferred to the Zumo. I'm stopping that.